I've seen people where when they see a giraffe, they just burst out into tears. Other people, for other people, it may be the fish of a canyon. But somewhere, somehow, on every single tour, uh, doing overlanding, being so close to nature for so, for so many hours, it changes you, and I know for the better. Right, my name is Renier. I'm uh, 50 years old. I've uh, been born and bred in Cape Town. Uh, farmer boy most of my life, but then after school and the army, I uh, worked at the magistrate's court all my life until about six years ago I started doing um, overlanding. Good choice. Something important or something I pick up always uh, with new people visiting Africa, especially for the first time, is that they expect something more dangerous, more violent and more vicious. And I can tell you guys now, um, even with our political problems in Africa, the biggest danger of Africa is it finds your way into your blood and you want to come back all the time. So what I want people to know is once you've put the guts together and you came here with your book tour, prepare yourself to fall a little bit in love with Africa. Uh, we are special in many ways. Yeah. What is nice for me, apart from showing you the most beautiful places in the 11 countries in Africa that we do, I think it's the, it's the challenge of giving the correct information. Because information may differ from book to book. And um, I love doing research to get it as close as possible to the real thing and then share that uh, with the people that's traveling with me. I think communication is the, is the key to have a successful tour. Um, if somebody is unhappy and they can talk to you while they are on tour, it's on tour where I can change things. Feedbacks are extremely important. It helps the company to be on their toes and their guides and drivers. But I think if you can have that trust from a, from a visitor to share when they feel so things can be changed to improve, that would help a lot to have a whole group of people being happy. After all, we are catering for a group of people, not one individual. And it helps when they talk to you about things that irritate them a little bit on tour, which normally happens. It's overlanding, we rough it up a bit. Um, there's one or two things that I would like to pick out. The one is uh, the visiting and sleeping in the in the Okavango Delta, going in with the dugout canoes or makoros. And the other one, um, maybe a little bit more extreme, is doing whitewater rafting in the Zambezi. She's rated one of the best five in the world, and she keeps up to her rating. Yeah, very good activity. I think I'm a Mopani worm. Um, if you haven't been to Africa, if you haven't eaten a Bopani worm, because it plays such a big role uh, still today for locals as a, a meal rep or a meat replacement, a protein replacement, and also um, living in the Mopani tree where, the, where a tree is rich in, in, in protein value. So please have a Mopani worm before you go back home. Traveling on an overland trip creates a situation where you will have memories and meet people with whom you will be friends for, for the rest of your life. Which is, I think is something spectacular if you think about it. Um, if you meet somebody from nowhere and you are lucky enough uh, to make friends that you can keep that friendship for the rest of your life, that is something nice. <laughs>